Grab a snack. I don't know if I'm okay right now. I don't know. I don't. I think that this is illegal. I think this is a concern. I have a lot of these laying around, so I'm gonna give you this. You thought you seen it all. Hey, you can't surprise us anymore. Well, welcome to a hundred sweaters and sets that I kept until I was skinny. I start to realize it's a mental illness to hoard to clothes so that you can wear it in a couple years when you've lost. 10 pounds. A couple years went by. I've only gained 10 pounds. No, seriously, I haven't stepped on a scale for eight, nine months now. I did yesterday. Bad habit. And I'm literally at my starting weight. When I first started sharing about my weight on the interwebs, I 155 pounds. I'm uncomfortable with the number, but I'm comfortable being in my skin now. Even at 155, because that number used to haunt me. I'm starting to think I should get 155, like, tatted on me somewhere, you know? Carry my skeletons around. Carry my lipids around. <laughs> Even though I want to get all sentimental into this, it does not matter. No excuse for this behavior. This is some crazy bad shit. I'm in a weird in between where I'm like, I threw away all my big clothes and I'm like, kind of need that again. I'm throwing away all my small clothes. I don't need that. <laughs> Since I threw away my big clothes, I'm trashing out the small clothes that no longer fit me or I kept until I was skinny. The end goal here is to be able to shop for clothes for my body and my size in the current moment. I think. I don't even know. Ew! <laughs> this is a combination of hoodies and sweaters, that good stuff, except for this one. Everything about this is quality. The color, the fit, the size. The only thing is, this is a matching hoodie with my... Yeah, that. I remember when we broke up, I was like, we should get rid of the things that associate one another to one another. I gave him all his stuff back, and I was like, that was the hoodie I got you. So you should probably toss it. He's like, no. Why can't we just be mature and keep our sweaters? I don't know how this has any relevance. But you should listen to my podcast, because I trash that man left and right. You know, if I'm going to wear this every time I want to vomit, I think I should toss it. This one carries too many burdens. I gotta go. We all know my connection to duck dye. This was also a gift from them. The perfect rosy mauve pink for my skin tone. It is a cropped sweater. It does seem I'm blowing a little bit left and right. I'm not going to get rid of this until sugar goes on his knees and asks me to marry him. That's never. So I'm never gonna let this go. This crew neck was gifted via PR from Verse. The environmental impact of skincare routine. I do like the small V color as well. This is a nice fit. See, I realize the Roblox here is sweaters and crew neck fit so nicely and loose. Like, how do you get rid of this? How do you say no? This isn't for me. Like, it feels so soft and comfortable. This is for me. Now I'm a little worried because I'm like, am I even gonna get rid of anything? Yes. This. Like, am I trying to target kids out here? Am I trying to be Barney? Also, this was a gift from my brother a long time ago and he has no taste. No taste at all. Ooh, it's chilly. It must cover my neck. Oh my god. My head is cold now too. <gasps> cool. Even still has like the sticker. I've never worn this. My goal in life is to not look like Barney. But you might want it. Cross rank. I mean, it's not bad. It's, not, it's just not serving me in the moment. She said lip half? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I remember this from a haul. This is a sweater dress. Okay, first of all, it feels like a kitchen towel. I really told myself. This is cute, but it doesn't fit my belly. And girl, I was at my skinniest, okay? Remember. Me back on my heaviest, like, Poof. If you're gonna take my skirt off, everything's going with. God, my fupa looks like a undie. You know what? The term fupa isn't the friendliest. I'm just used to saying it, but I shouldn't normalize that. And I know that bothers some of you guys, so I'm trying to be aware of that. So from now on, I'm just gonna call it my onion. This is the onion, but we need a name for her. So, point is, um, my onion is very pungent right now. <laughs> I used to wear this so often because my stomach was tiny and I could show off my wannabe abs. All I have now are snickerdoodles. I love this cream color. Something about this color, I just... Do you think it's too short? Because like my ruski is right here. The make is right here. I don't want to have to think about pulling my shirt down. But it's so cute. Like look at the way it sits on my body. I love balloon sleeves, but sometimes it can be too big for my liking. And this is like the perfect size. So we're really talking here. I went crazy. Okay, when BT21 was first launched, it was so new. Nowadays it's like super common. Ugh. Yeah. Bitch, are you okay? Anyway, BT21. The tectonic plates were shaking, okay? I went crazy and I got a bunch of like t-shirts and hoodies and hats and all that stuff. And I've never worn one, ever. I do love this pink one. It's so soft. Oh, it's like a pet. I chose this one because they have like the signatures on the side. So this is my merch. <laughs> this was my second launch with Fanjoy. I chose Body Positive. That was around the time when I was really expressing my acceptance or starting to mm -hmm. for my body. Did that make sense? I'm gonna give this away. Follow my TikTok. Um... Comment your TikTok down below so I can check. Also, be aware, don't wash this with your lights because it will stain. And I didn't know that too until I did. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Fanjoy did not tell me that. Every K-pop idol has this outfit. So, what did I do as a wannabe? Yeah, calling myself out? I said me too. The tag. For goodness sake, is still on. Oh my god, this is almost embarrassing. Now, you think about the American flag. Any and every time I see these colors, just to be frank with you, I think of our ex-president. And all around, it just gives me the ick. 
I look like a walking cake. Why would I wear this out? <laughs> Why? Unless I've completely lost my mind, I would never wear this out. Look at me and tell me that I look cool. You're a liar. Liars get put in jail. And I'm not hating, I'm just saying. By the way, this is like a freaking expensive brand. It's a Korean brand. You can catch this on Poshmark. Look at this. Clut Studio. <laughs> Thank goodness that's a you. Look at this fun thing doing its fun thing. Oh my god, a sweater dress. Looks more like caterpillar blooming. <laughs> I've unleashed out of my cocoon. You've got to be kidding me. I can't help but sigh. Very disappointing choices. Who'd have known like five years ago I was setting myself up for failure and disappointment? Five years later. Mind you. So let's change that around town. This was the set the cookie wore to the airport. Unreal. Unreal. Ribbon straps. I'm sagging. I have to sag it up because when I actually wear it comfortably, it gives me a camel. But I, mean, I guess the sweater does hide it, does it? Oh my god. Honestly, this could be worth $5,000. Really thought money grew on trees. I thought cash popped out of the acorn. A little quickie for you. This size is knitted. Yes, 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 yes. Are you kidding me? We're almost sold out of all sizes. So if you didn't grab your I'm super shy crew neck, you should really reevaluate your priorities. <laughs> Seriously, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who's been supporting That's Her Shop. I'm just so excited to see where the rest of the year takes us. And this small business journey, that's a double tap for me. And like how cute it is when it's like long. But then also like, you could wear a short like this too. We really said yes. This is a sweater with some straps on this side. I really just look like I'm in a spray jacket. I legit look like I'm in a spray jacket. It could be cool if you dress it cool. Looks like I need to confine my arms because because I'm a biter and a hug. Better luck this time. I just look homeless. Mama Lou would be like, you have clothes, wear your clothes. Once again, this texture is perfect to scrub your counters. I'm conflicted because I should probably wear this in the mornings on my bike ride. I could be sexy in this. I just feel like you could spot me a mile away. Pass. Like some people would never, but you can never pay to have orange and neon construction in their wardrobe. Again, I understand this orange is not the most flattering, but it was a gift from Duck Dive. I'm telling you, they spoiled me. Duck Dive embroidered on the sleeve. I look like I just won a soccer tournament. Just like how you and I have a parasocial relationship, I have a parasocial relationship with Duck Dive. Very one sided. Well, well, well. This is the gray version, and it smells like incense. My sister in law burnt my sleeve because she had to do some type of like voodoo, just getting ritual thing on it. I love this dark gray color. Ribbed. Perfect length too. Like ooh, I don't usually do too well finding sweaters that are like good for my length. And this is it. A little under my belly button area. It's good. It's good. I don't remember having this. Okay. Oh. It's supposed to be off the sleeve. Except my shoulders are so broad, so white. It's like when you have a goal and you can't execute. This is the epitome of that. I don't want to let this go. Ooh, a boxy butt. Do I look like Barbie? I have not seen the movie yet. I'm very disappointed in myself too. I don't know, girl. I don't know. I feel like wearing this out might be a risk. I am slime. When I was a little tinier, I didn't appreciate this on my body. This is the season of being great. RJ Bums is Lord and Savior. Anyway, this is a sweater. I think I got it in a medium and it looks very small on me. It doesn't look promising. Should probably put some pants on. I can't just walk out with underwear fade. My friend sent me this sweater from his, I think his brand. This sweater has like literally no structure to it, but I'm kind of obsessed with the color. The stitching is kind of all. The quality is very low maintenance. No fans, no fans. The color, salmon, salmon, salmon. Can't say that word, but I look like a piece of fish. Chunk of meat. I used to love this. I thought this was so fun to wear. Probably one of the more common sets that I go for. I really do look like Ronald McDonald. Dijon mustard. The texture is really bad. I belong in the KitchenAid collection as a hand towel. Like I do like the fit on my body, but I just don't know if I love feeling like people can just wipe their ass on me. Here's another BT21 Antisocial Social Club. I wish I got in the size bigger. I hate small sweaters. Probably the top five worst things you can ever do to you. I'm keeping the other one. I'm tossing this one, which will be a flash my. Jeez. I seriously have so many black sweaters. Glad I was tiny back then because this was very oversized on me. It barely fits. Everything's touching my skin. I just feel very constricted in this. Nothing wrong with the sweater. I just don't fit in. No, no, no. It doesn't fit me anymore. This was my outfit when I used to work at DHL. Just kidding. I didn't work at DHL, but oh my god. Look at my onion. It's tight. I look at my stomach in this and I don't know if this is supposed to be my ass. Because it's pretty much the same. Actually, my stomach's bigger than my ass. I'd just rather save us from misery. What is this? Someone wrote me a note in Korean. No stinking idea what that says. I deal Date. Just kidding, it says, what is your ideal date? I was like, I have a secret admirer that just put this in my pocket. 
Stop it! Also, every K-pop idol and their moms have this. I know that it gives me like a front stomach and a back stomach, but I'm keeping because I actually really love this brand, Nerdy. I gotta keep some money in my closet. Let a girl pretend. My god, Lee, this was like my first Spartan sweater. I went to Michigan State University. Our football team sucks, I know. Please don't rub that in our face. Also, the coach is sus. Um, I was skinny back then. First ever sweater purchase. You see my stomach? Like, sweaters should not be allowed to do this to us. Makes me feel not good about myself. I look like I'm carrying twins. They are aging well in there. I know you're my first hoodie, but you gotta go sis because because you're gonna make me want to tear up my, my own skin. Thank you. I'll give this to my sister or something. Just so I can still look at it and be like, oh my god, my first hoodie. But then, you know, not wear it. <laughs> I have attachment problems. This is my first ever track outfit, basically. My brother used to play soccer, or he did. He does. He had this exact track suit on. I thought it looked so cool. Either for Christmas or my birthday or randomly, I said, I really want that sweat suit. And then he surprised me and bought me one. It's still very sentimental to me, so I'm gonna keep it, of course. Yes, this is one of my go-to sweaters. This was sent from Selena. Well, Rare Beauty. I used to be on the PR list, but the girl's no longer on the PR list. Kind of very sad because I love Selena. Anyway, Rare Beauty, if you ever see this, which you're probably not because I am a Spectacle of dust. Thank you, you. Call me. Jeez. I hate when people take off sweaters like this. And when I say people, I freaking my amazing, loving, caring, loyal boyfriend. But it drives me crazy when people take sweaters off like that. It's actually from the Nike outlet. I love this little print thing right here. This is so tiny. <coughs> oh my gosh, they're pastel. I mean, kudos for it being really soft, but holy moly. Eight years ago, I'm not even dramatic. In my estimation right now. It's kind of old fashioned. I am not one with the trend in this. I will never toss my Christmas sweaters. You think I am a psychopath? We are not psycho Michaels out here. This is the prime example why I don't wear sweaters. Or clothes that are not cropped or oversized. Something that like just fits my torso as is makes me look like this. I look like I impregnated a pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh my god, did not realize how generous Duck Dive was. The drip drip fun. I have a relationship with Duck Dive, apparently. I'm gonna keep this. Pretty sure this was a gift from my sister in law when they went to Cali for Christmas. This will look good like this. Not as it's supposedly like California represent. Just kidding, I'm not from there. Um, but it was a gift from the best sister in law ever, so. I'll keep it. So many sets to go through. I hate that. But I love this. This is a cute corduroy, corduroy, corduroy from White Fox. Little rustic moment. Very tough outer shell. And on the inside, I'm just like a slime bit. You know, just a. I was gonna say what? <laughs> I swear at the angle you're at, it, I look funky. But yeah, it's actually really nice. You see? Oh. I bought this as a sample for my small business. I was gonna go with this set and customize it, but I think the quality is too like squishy. Truly, I just kept it for the color. Surprise, surprise, another BT21 sweater with the tag still on it because I never wore it. And the back has all the names with the signatures on the sleeves. Oh no, what must I do with this? I don't know. Maybe it'll be on Poshmark. Yeah. So if you guys know Tammy hey. Chung or Tammy Tuan, she's Mark Tuan's sister. We met a long time ago and I love that she loved me because I loved her. A match made in heaven. And ever since then, we've kept in touch. Out of the blue, she would just like check up on me and uh, melts my heart every freaking time. One day she reached out for third sibling, which is her brand. It has the three and the S in it, but it's also rose. Love this sweater. Love Tammy. Forever keeping. I'm just concerned I have so many sets. This was kind of cute. It's just like a cute tank. No, it's not. This is not a tanker. I kind of like this. Usually it doesn't work out for me. We're witnessing something working out for me. Excuse me. You already know. This is from my first first merch line with my little chibi print here. The university letters with Liz and Linda. At the time I was obsessed with like this neutral earth tone tan cream brown palette. It gives me fossil. So sold out on these. Never coming back. So now I'm gonna wear this every day. Let me know if you guys want me to bring this back though because I can't. It's giving me the same vibes of twins now. We're embracing this body and we will not make it feel bad. So tossing this back. Speaking of, even smaller. Not even gonna go there. Toss. My sister and I used to share this hoodie. We used to fight for this hoodie. I wanted to wear the American Eagle, okay? This was the real deal back then. It's so old, it's like disgusting shit. Disgusting shit. Sometimes you just gotta let go of your ego. Get it? Your ego and eagle? Do I have to keep doing this? I'm exhausted. I wore this everywhere and I really thought I was the girl. The girl with a 
onion. The pungent onion. <laughs> I still may have a chance. I was so insecure about my box, yes. It hasn't gotten better. I just have a long ass, okay? Ugh, as much as I love this portion, it's just not worth it. So this hoodie is Mark Twan's hoodie. Wish I got a bigger size, but you know, we wish a lot of things in life. I'll still keep this. Girl, I do not want to fit myself into this set. It's just not worth it. I, I already know. There's no need. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Same with this. I'm not gonna keep this. I'm also not gonna try it because I don't want to risk putting makeup on it. You can have it. Oh, I got a good story about this. It's too small, first of all. It was one of those milky collabs. Super cute for me, though, except the pants are so small. I'm a heavy apple body shape. It's just not working out down here. My sister and I met with my friends at a cafe. I took a photo and put, I put it on Snapchat with a little coffee in my hand. And this guy that I was seeing at the time, he went off on me. He was very jealous and controlling. Did not want anyone else on my roster. Where are you? Starbucks at 7 p.m. Yeah, my friends get coffee like all day long. He literally blocked me because he didn't believe me that I was with my friends. He thought I was on like some type of date. Wearing this? Girl, I just need to sage myself for this. So, holy shit. Way too cropped. No. Do we look a little better now? It's so freaking short. Oh, I look skinny. Am I challenging JLo out here? Britney Spears? Look at this. Tell me this isn't the softest fucking thing you've ever seen. Someone else deserves this and it'll fit them way better. Hopefully you'll be more appreciative of it. really don't want to do this, but I'll do it for you. I don't know. I don't want to do this anymore. Feeling happy. Again, I was obsessed with tracksuits. I don't know if I'd ever wear them out again. Yes, I bought this in Korea during the fall, during fashion week. Bought this thinking I was so cool because it was a very expensive. People value you off of that, you know? Trust me, like every person I knew wore branded clothes. I thought buying a $200 worth tracksuit was gonna make me look cool. Guess what happened? I learned after I've worn this out that wearing tracksuit is equivalent to wearing pajamas. So no one's gonna respect you. I'm still gonna keep this. The rest of my case. Well, I'm actually glad I kept a set from a Korean plus size brand. I was actually debating on keeping the set at the time when I bought this because I was like, oh, it's so big. I'm s <laughs> me perfectly. <laughs> it actually feels good on my body. I don't love how high rise this tank is. It's literally like riding on my neck. All the turntables. I'm not even gonna try this out. I know it's too small because when I kept this, it was already too small for me. It's not science. Same with this. Like there's just no way this will fit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it stretches. My body goes all the way out here, girl. Yeah, you have a lot to live up to. You know who will be perfect in this? My sister. This is my boyfriend's sweater. Or crew neck. He left it at my house on accident. I'm just gonna include it in this haul, but it's not nice. I'm not gonna wear it because I know how he gets when you stretch his neck He's out. He's very particular with his sweaters because he doesn't like it stretched or stained or anything. I'm the opposite where I'm a nasty, slobby hog and I don't care for that, so. An honorary of him. It's like I've been rebirth. Sweater from Rolla Rolla, we know. We can read. This is a cute minty sweater, very girly pop, very feminine. It's very stiff on my body. That's the part that bothers me. However, <coughs> you think I'd be faking my cough? Too slim down here, it's too heavy up here. It makes me look like triangle. That's my biggest enemy, my biggest fear. You would think that I'd keep this. April Fool's! You guys! Oh my god. Hey, hi. I thought I went through all my sweaters and hoodies. I forgot to pull the ones from my main closet. So you thought you were done. We're just gonna speed through this because I have no more patience. I'm obsessed with this crew neck sweater. Look at the way it sits on my body. The bottom cinches. It hugs my body without my lungs pouring out. Cutest cream color. With the university letters, there's more of a stiffness to this. I don't know why, but because of that, there's such good hold on the sweater. It's mentally stable. I don't need this. Cropped champion crew neck. I feel like champion crew neck sweater, whatever it is, they're not as oversized. And I'm saying this with experience because I own a small boutique. I've never worn this. Also, I bought this with my ex. So this crew neck is from Walmart and it was only for $5. It was in the clearance rack. I love the pretend seams on the outside. It's so comfy. Such a good sweater to just wear. On a day to day. Here's a Michigan State crew neck. I got this sweater last fall for a football season. It's actually interesting how wide the letters come out. It's literally by my armpits. Interesting. This green though. Yes, ma'am. We've already tried on this sweater in my previous haul, so I'm not gonna put it on. It's keep for sure. So my super shy crew neck is actually inspired by this exact crew neck because it's the exact crew neck. I bought this at a gift shop in Holland, Michigan, or Grand Haven. Funny story. Alan and I almost broke up that day at the beach. You know, relationships have their ups and downs, okay? I love this sweater. It's super long. I love this heather gray color. We all do. It has like a little saying right here that just says, sell big elastic band. And it's great because it'll be hard for strangers to see under your pants because 
We're attached. We're protected. Okay, okay. Big balloon sleeve crew neck. The sleeves are huge. It takes over the whole sweater, your whole body. I feel armless in this. I with a weird print. It says Revenge Keyboard University. But it's from the pop so. Makes sense. Here's a one size roller roller sweater. It's so cute. It has teddy bear. It's labeled one size. It's huge on the models, but that's because you're like a double zero. I'm your average size 10, five foot tall girl with boobies. Not my liking. I prefer something a little bit more loose and big, but this is the right fit for my body considering like my size. Without it eating up your body, but I like to be eaten up. She ate. Here's another Rolla Rolla crew neck. The inside looks like this. Hold it's on. this fabric. I don't know what you describe this as. Weaving. It's just so funny how this is literally oversized on the model and then you put it on me and just like it fits. Touching my body too much. I don't like that. I don't like my body touched. See, look at this fit. It's oversized. It's a little bit more drawn because you'll see my body, but that's what I prefer. I don't want to look like a floating bubble in SeaWorld. Also, if you didn't notice, it was my first merch launch. I freaking love this sweater. Another roller roller. Not a lot to say about it except it's pretty much what we just saw. I don't need that many roller roller crew necks. Come on. One of the few BT21 crew necks I have. This one has a little block that says BT21 Cole. I don't think we could read. Sorry. Sorry that I tend to act as if you're illiterate. Again, I don't know if I need this anymore. I have so many good crew necks I'm realizing, but it could be cute. <laughs> I mean, I kept a sweater. I think I should keep a crew neck and I just toss the rest that I come upon. My Jimin sweater. I don't remember which music video he wore this in. <gasps> There's a deer. I can't throw this away because Jimin wore and it. I bought it for such expensioso dollar bills. But then I've never worn it outside of that video. You know how I feel about stripes. And like, I don't really have a neck for this. I mean, look, look at me. Does that mean it's just time to give it up? Okay, wait. Let me let me reevaluate my um, priorities. <laughs> this could be on Poshmark. It has a pocket. It has big chunky sleeves. Hey, neck. That's chunky. It was very pricey. I'm not gonna list it for the amount it, it should be. Everything on my Poshmark is very, very affordable. No questions asked. This was a gift from Chrissy and Gress, my friend. We are Michiganders out here, okay? Ooh. So my Body Positive merch also had crew necks, not just hoodies. This was a sample version. It faded, it's kind of gross. I mean, it could be a cool aesthetic. It looks like it, this is on purpose. I'm just gonna toss it. I'm telling you, champion. Like, they're just not loose fitting. This is a medium though, so maybe that's on me. <laughs> It's not as soft as I like it. I just look so, like, look, from the side, I just look so chunky chunky. Maybe a student can get this. I'll put this up for like $8. I thrifted this sweater from a brand deal I worked with. The Rolling Stones with different flags on the tongue. Is that rude? Is that disrespectful? It's a fun sweater to have. Oh my god. I forgot I kept one of these for myself. This one I designed and I worked with a small business owner, a female owned small business owner herself. And it sold out completely in the first week. This was my lick forward. Not backward crew neck. I love this color combo. It's so beautiful. I can't believe this is from That's Her Shop. That's my shop. And then this is my second ever sweater launch. That was a whole story of Song. It was a mess. We're not gonna get into it. There was like a huge miscommunication. Never ever gonna work with that same manufacturer company anymore. From Germany. It's just so pricey to import. And I didn't know all of that because this was my first time and I thought it was included in the fee. Barely made profit off of these crew necks. If anything, I just broke even. I think I have two left in stock. It was a very difficult process, but I learned a lot. I am proud of the crew necks because of the quality. They are 100% cotton and they're so freaking well made. A high quality crew neck. I am so happy that so many guys understood. I'll make sure I go drop the price price for those who want the last two but everyone respects the quality so much it's the softest thing you'll ever feel I hate that I love it because it was so difficult I can't even be mad because these are gorgeous I tend to grab this a lot more than I realize I just look like a dad and my kid goes to MSU I'm so proud and I love basketball or something it's just nice on a fall day if you can dress it up which I never do I look really basic in this so if you catch me else I have nothing to offer this was sent via PR from so it's a Korean skincare brand. When I received this, I was hyped. Gonna keep. Wow, did we toss anything? This may not look Christmassy, but it is a Christmas retro sweater from a small business. I was on TikTok randomly scrolling and I saw her packing pack. Just yeah, I have five left. If you want one, just let me know. And I was like, I want one. No, me, I'm not big into tie-dye. But when I saw this tie-dye, I was like, oh I like the palette. Yes, 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 yes. And that's the official 100. Okay, ignore this beauty right now. I don't know why I miscounted 100 because I usually count the clothes before I film and I'm just starting to believe that I'm misplacing sweaters because look, this is one of my favorite sweaters I did not include in the haul that should have been. But yeah, I don't mean to make it like clickbaity. I promise I had 100. I don't know what happened. But yeah, anyway, thanks for still sticking around. This has been a mess. Okay. Girl, I don't know why you're still sitting there looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. Go clean your closet. We just went through a hundred. I don't really know. Give or take. Sweaters, hoodies. We're crazy. Don't be so lazy. Look at me conquering my fear. Yeah. Get rid of small 
evil devils. You deserve more. You deserve better. You deserve clothes that fit you. Get rid of that witchcraft, okay? I will see you guys very soon in a vlog. I'm trying to vlog once a week on this channel. And post like a haul related video too. But you know how I do with commitment? Not well. So if you see me, you see me. Seriously, I love you guys. Bye. Tell me what you do.